Let's solve the comparative advantage based on number. So far, the previous problem that we did was comparative advantage question based on time problem, time and duration. Now here, when the problem is based on number, be very, very clear. Now here, there are 200 pizzas being produced by nation X and nation Y producing 100 pizza. However, when it comes to burger, both of them produces 600 burgers. Now, the question is really important. First, we want to find out the comparative advantage by calculating the opportunity cost. So in the first case, it would be 600 by 200. That means three burgers for one pizza or I can say six burger for one pizza. In this case, it would be uh, one by three and one by six pizzas, right? So which value is smaller here? 3 value is smaller and here 1 sixth value is smaller. So nation X would specialize in pizza or would have comparative advantage in pizza and nation Y would have comparative advantage in burger. So that's the first part of the question. So first part was finding the comparative advantage by calculating opportunity cost that we did. The second part was identifying which nation would specialize in what we did that as well. Now this third interesting thing is a very important part of the question. Understand this very carefully. If the trade settles at a idea of one pizza for four burger understand this carefully without a specialization that is pre-specialization we are talking only about country x now country x produces 100 pizza and 300 burgers okay calculate the gains in the trade if there is 300 burgers which are imported okay we have to find out the gains from trade how would we do so the terms of trade is one pizza for four burger that's given okay again the pre-specialization before any trade it is given that country x produces 100 pizza uh, 100 100 pizza and 300 burgers now what is the specialization we know country x or nation x specialize in pizza that means 200 pizza and no burger okay what was the trade? The trade was how much? There was a, uh, a change, right? So here we have 300 burgers which are imported. So it is importing 300 burgers here. Now if 300 burgers are being imported, what would be the trade? The trade would be minus 75 because 1 is to 4. If 300 burgers are being imported, brought into the country, what would be the ratio here? This would be 300 by 4 and negative since it's being brought, imported. So minus 75. So post specialization, what would be the value? 200 plus minus 75, which gives you 125. Now what would be the gain in trade? Post specialization minus pre-specialization, that gives you 25. So gains from trade would be 25. Understand this very carefully. I'll explain this again. The first two columns are already given in the question. The terms of trade is already given. We have one pizza for four burger and in the initial round we have 100 pizza and 300 burger. Specialization we have calculated from the values that we had. So here we know nation X specializes in pizza. So there are 200 pizza and zero burger. Now there is a trade. What is the trade? For 300 burgers, I am importing 300 burgers, right? So that is the trade. So when I am importing 300 burger and one pizza is equal to four burger, that means the trade is minus 75. Now post specialization would be how much? Specialization plus trade. That is 200 plus minus 75, which gives me 125. And gains from trade is post specialization minus pre-specialization. So post is 125, pre is 100. So 125 minus 100, get, that gives you 25. So gains in trade would be how much? 25.
clear so this was another a very interesting mcq specifically the second part of it extremely important rarely asked but this is how if asked you would have to attempt this mcq so keep joining us with the series on uh, important frqs for ap macro and microeconomics also in the link below you would have the complete video tutorials for the same thanks for joining in